Rena is done. We got our quick time sequence. Let's give it a preview. It looks like this. And yeah, the next thing is to save <laughs> Cinema, save the project in Cinema 4D. I totally forgot to save it. So let's go to my folder and save it as sketch tutorial dot c4d okay now we can close it and we have to jump in and into after effects let's power it up come on after effects don't be so slow perfect so it looks a little bit strange maybe your after effects looks kind of like this yeah that should work okay let's go to our render and drag it in here and drag it into here in order to create a new composition and we need a texture and we're going to grab it illegally from the internet type in texture paper and press enter okay we need the perfect paper texture it has to be perfect or the whole effect won't work no it it does not have to be perfect but this one looks pretty awesome save it save it to tutorials sketch animation and give it a beautiful name like awesome paper okay and let's drag it into our composition scale it down to maybe 41 and use multiply Cool, we got a cool paper look. Press, if you're on a Mac, Command, Alt, uh, Alt and Y. And we got a new adjustment layer. And use curves. Bring down the brightness, maybe the contrast a little. Go to the Ellipse tool, double click on it. Invert the mask, press F on the keyboard, make it a little bit softer and we got ourselves a nice vignette all right so this is what we want first effect done perfect okay the next effect you see in here it's really loud actually um is this kind of text animation. Okay, this one is After Effects only. F for this, press Command and N and use it. We can call it text. And press Command and Y. Make it white. And let's create our text. Um, this is the most difficult part um, finding a clever word for this example let's use awesome I, I can type awesome and use a cool font like Gotham it's my favorite font black and that's, it's so beautiful so beautiful I can't breathe oh my god um, right click on the layer transform reset bring up the title save press P so now it's perfectly aligned okay and now we need to do something press click layer auto trace and press OK and delete it. Now it's gone. 
but if we select our auto trace layer go to layer and sort settings and make it black oh, we see it's back again all right Let's go to generate and stroke. Use all masks and make it black and set it to on transparent. Okay, and I see we got this one line which is kind of annoying. But magic we it seems like we can't see okay now okay let's find this one I think it's this one yeah and delete it and yeah we got our awesome text in order to animate it go to frame now let's let's go to second one go to the end and set it to zero um, click on the stopwatch so we can make a keyframe if you press U you can see the keyframe go to second two and use 100 select them both and press F9 so we can convert them to make them softer and those keyframes are also see awesome <laughs> okay now we got our cool animating text Let's uncheck this one and we got like this effect. Yeah, this is what I want. Okay, now we can duplicate this one and let's go to, to Scribble. I think it was Scribble and make it black and say all masks and here's a typical box see that that always isn't filled so let's just create a couple of um, more points and use that centered not inside not outside okay I don't know why it's not working mm. usually this ah okay this this was the problem okay of all of you instead of all masks use all masks using modes and perfect we're we're finished with the look now we have to animate it and this is pretty easy go to second one and go to the end press zero click on the stopwatch go to two 100 press U on the keyboard select them both press F9 and yeah our text is animating this is how I did the text the text animation okay and for the pros of you who want the text to look exactly the same as in the show reel use the awesome paper bring it down use multiply go here maybe let's call it vignette copy it and yeah now so it's done see it's 
it looks the same. Okay, one pro tip for the total pros. Duplicate the, the scribble effect, this one. Copy it. And go to the stroke options and bring down the spacing and maybe this here. Maybe make it a little curvier, cursor sexy. Now we get a more individual look, which I like. Maybe we can bring the spacing here a little bit up to like 10. Yeah, now it looks cool. So, yeah, that's it. Here's our cool animation of our sketch animation of a cool mountain. And here's the thing. And if you combine it, you get this, this effect. Yeah. I hope you liked it. Please make sure. It would be so awesome of you guys if you if you could do me a favor and like my page on Facebook. I'm really struggling with the likes. See, I'm I didn't even reach the 300. So yeah, it would be awesome if you could help me out and just give me a like. <laughs> it would be it would totally make my day. And yeah, I'm trying to to post cool, interesting stuff and also. Yeah, behind the scenes. This is a, a recent project of mine, um, of a projection mapping I did. Make sure to to check it out. Yeah, that would be awesome. Thank you guys for listening. 